Let's solve a simple problem about capacity, throughput, cycle time, and tack time. Two stations. It takes six minutes in the first station to complete the task, and it takes five minutes to complete the task in the second station. And these are sequential tasks. A product goes to the first station, then to the second station. There are three machines, three resource units, in station one, or we may generally call it resource pool one. And there are two machines, two resource units of a different type than the first three resource units. And they are in station two, two resource units in resource pool two, three resource units in resource pool one. These are generic names that I like to use. Compute the capacity of this process. One product every six minutes. In station one, how many product? In one minute. One multiplied by one and divided by six. And that is what we usually call it RP1. And that is one divided by TP. And in this case for the station one, it is one divided by six. For station two, five minutes. Therefore, RP1 one in the station two is equal to one over five one over five one over six if we had one machine in each station obviously the bottleneck was here because this one in each minute it can produce one over six and that is in one hour one over six multiplies 60 which is 10 and the other one 1 over 5 per minute, if I multiply it by 60, that would be 12. Therefore, the bottleneck would have been here. But we don't have one machine in each station. We have more than one machine, and we need to now consider what is the bottleneck. Capacity of one machine in station 1 is 1 over 6 per minute, but we have three of those machines. So that is 1 over 6 plus 1 over 6 plus 1 over 6 and that is three over six per minute. And in general, it is C divided by TP. Therefore, capacity of the first station is equal to three over six per minute. And if you multiply it by 60, that would be 30 per hour. Capacity of the second one, one over five per minute, but we have two of them. And an hour is 60 minutes. So this would be 24. Capacity of 24, capacity of 30. The weakest is the bottleneck, and the bottleneck is here. Now I repeat what I said, but before I repeat, there is also an alternative way to look at it. In the station one, we need six minutes. In an hour, we have 60 minutes. Therefore, if we divide 60 by six, capacity of one machine is 10, but we have three machines. Therefore, the capacity is 30. A little bit different than what I said. Following what I have already said, again, the capacity is 30. We can repeat the same logic for station two. First, from the first perspective, then from the second perspective, it takes five minutes and an hour is 60. Therefore, 60 divided by five, 12 products per hour. And we do have two machines. Two times 12 is 24. Or as I have already explained, RP is equal to C divided by TP, two divided by five per minute. If you multiply by 60, that would be 24 and the chain is as strong as its weakest link. Station two is the model. Compute the cycle time in this process. Cycle time is all capability. How often can we produce a product? What is the time interval between two consecutive products that we can produce? Capacity is 24 per hour. Therefore, it takes us one over 24 hour to send the next product out. Our capability to send the next product out. 
every one over 24 hours. Not over 24 hours, which is a day, 24 per hour. So that is, if I multiply by 60, that will give me 2.5 minutes. I could have also said, as I have said here, an hour is 60 minutes, and I can produce 24. Therefore, if you divide, that's it. And the same logic is over there. I can produce 24 in one hour. How long does it take to produce one product? That is one multiplied by one divided by 24. So these are just simple computations. We said our capacity is 24 per hour. We could have said it is 24 per 60 minutes. What is the capacity in one minute? And that would be 24 divided by 60, which is 4 divided by 10, which is 0.4. And if capacity is 0.4 per minute, cycle time is 1 over there. Cycle time is 1 over 0.4. And that is 2.5 minutes. So I can do this, I can do this, and I can do this. All of them just different look at the same problem with very simple manipulation. Suppose the utilization of this process is 75%. Compute the throughput. A simple formula. Utilization is equal to throughput divided by capacity. Utilization is 0 0.75. Throughput, we don't know, but we know capacity is 24. And therefore, if you do the multiplication, throughput is equal to 18 per hour. Or it is 18 divided by 60, which is 3 divided by 10, which is point three per minute. So our capacity is to produce point four per minute or twenty four per hour, but the demand is point three or if I multiply by sixty, eighteen units per hour. It is eighteen capacity twenty four utilization seventy five percent. Compute the utilization of the least utilized station. Utilization of the most utilized station is 0.75 or 75%. The least utilized station, we have two stations. One, capacity of 30. The other one, capacity of 24. And 18 per hour past these stations. Utilization here is equal to 0.75. What is utilization here? This is the least utilized station. Least utilized station is a station which its utilization is not greater than the utilization of any other station. Bottleneck is the station or resource pool where utilization is not smaller than the utilization of any other station. Here, if I want to compute utilization of station 1, that would be R, which is 18, divided by the capacity of that station, which is 30, and that would be 0.6 or 60%. Compute the tag time. Cycle time is our capability to produce products. The time interval that we need between producing one product and producing the next product, that is cycle time. Tack time is the same thing based on the demand. What demand wants from us? How often demand wants a product? The difference between two consecutive products that the market demands is called tack time. So market wants throughput. Market wants 18 per hour. Our 
capability is 24 per hour. That is with respect to throughput and capacity. But with respect to cycle time and tack time, cycle time we just realized cycle time is 2.5 minutes. What about tack time? For tack time we follow the same logic. Market wants 18 per hour. Therefore, in one over 18 hours, market want the product. If I multiply it by 60, that would be every 3.33 minutes. I could have also said demand is 18 per hour. Therefore, it is 0.3 per minute. In one minute, demand is 0.3. In how much time demand become 1? And that is 1 times 1 divided by 0.3. And that is 1 divided by 0.3. And that is 3.3333. So every 2.5 minutes, we can produce one product, we can send out the next product, but demand does not ask for that. It is enough if you can send out one product every 3.333 minutes. Throughput 18, tack time 3.33, capacity 30, cycle time 2. Capacity is always greater than throughput, and cycle time is always less than tack time. Because cycle time is 1 over capacity, and tack time is 1 over throughput. Let me just add one point. We said utilization relatively measures throughput compared to capacity, that is, throughput divided by capacity. In this case, it is 18 divided by 24, or 75%. We also have safety capacity. And that is the absolute difference between capacity and throughput, RP minus R. Here, I divided them. Here, I just subtract them. That is 24 minus 18, and that is 6. Safety capacity is 6 per hour. Utilization is 75%. Utilization is 75%. Thank you again for attending this short session. Please just put the uh, slides in the slideshow mode and just start solving it. If you stuck, the solution is one more click away.